so welcome back everybody to another video after 11 months i'm finally making a part 3 and the reason why i'm making this video is because the last part was working for some of you for some of the players but for most of them the 360 degree camera was not working so i'm making this again and hopefully this will get everything fixed now also um, this is not like the previous one. This is a little bit different. So watch till the very end. So open the Play Store first because after like so many tries, I finally found an app, and the app name is Mantis Mouse Pro. So you want to download it? I have already downloaded it, so I'm going to open it now. Click No here and click Tap to start Mantis Buddy. It should, if you have connected your keyboard on keyboard and mouse, it should say one peripheral connected now go to tap to start and you need to allow all of these permissions step by step now these three permissions are already like allowed i don't even know how but it is allowed i guess okay so now you need to enable usb debugging if you don't know how you can do this you can go to your settings if your developer option is already on it will just give get you to your developer options by clicking it but if it is not you can go to about phone software build version click it seven times and it should say uh, it should ask for your lock screen password and then it will work so yes in developer options you need few settings to be enabled which it, which it will get you enabled like step by step it will like it is the usb debugging wireless debugging and allow overlays uh, overlays over settings to so hit enable so in uh, developer option make sure these are on usb debugging wireless debugging and from this one allow screen overlays on settings once you have enabled all of these go back to your application mantis pro and in here just click mark as done yes now hit start pairing now go to wireless debugging and click it it should search, it should say something like this like pair device with pairing code so click on that and here just type your pairing code so i'm going to type mine so basically you need to type this five digit code over 38139 which is mine click pair and once you click pair it should just say pairing successful and on top of it should say something like this uh, wireless debugging connected now you can Go back to your app and it should say something like Mantis Buddy connected. You are all set. It says no peripherals connected because, well, my keyboard battery just died at the best time. Like, well, I got to charge it. So, see you in a minute. So, Alright, so once it shows Mantis Buddy is connected, you are pretty much good to go. And what you want to do is click add game, click it, and Make sure you connect your keyboard and mouse to your device because at this point you're pretty much ready to play. So now here just look for it. Now remember you can only keep one app at a time. So choose Roblox. Go back. Click on Roblox. Also the steps which I showed was only for Android 11 and plus I think. For any one below android 11 i think it requires either a pc or i think like the pc or like a different android device so yes that is the sad part so you can see open this on the android device target so yes guys you will need to do this if uh, you don't if you're not able to set it up like this like either one directly from one device if you can do that great if you cannot you will need android to android and android to android is also pretty simple and
plus okay so now go swipe left and then add WASD here if you for some reason leave it uh, arrows just add arrows there I guess hit uh, the WSD and put it like right over here and also I would recommend that you in the settings of Roblox just change it to dynamic thumbstick totally depends but I, I would suggest that if your screen size is so small basically now click mouse put it in the right hand side like somewhere around here now add a key press the space bar in the put it in this jump area now for some games so it support a uh, shift lock for mobile games for mobile as well not mobile games but mobile if shift lock is supported on mobile you can click e key hit shift put the shift thing in the um, shift lock icon in the bottom like right there now I can do a key like this for my that okay and then this for here there we go now this also has many more features which you should just like play around with and you will find many cool tricks in this app so just try out try many different settings it will be fun um so yes once you do all of that you're pretty much good to go now you can press the right click button and just see this see yes that works that's pretty much like how you can get this thing to work now pretty cool right 